Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. And this is my video review of the Selvin brand. This is their Wi-Fi mini projector. It has a native resolution of 1280 by 720. It'll be compatible with 1080 Progressive. And it will project up to 200 inch diameter display. It supports Bluetooth audio, so you can use your Bluetooth player for the audio. Or you can use an audio cable and you can get audio that way. We're going to show that. It has a 60,000 hour LED lamp life. It's compatible with TV sticks, HDMI, USB, laptops, PS4, and iOS and Android operating systems. It has a plus or minus 15 degrees keystone correction. We're going to show how to use that. And a real simple focus wheel. The cover is on the lens right now. It comes with that. And this is an all glass lens and it's the biggest diameter lens I've seen on a projector. And what that means to you the consumer is the bigger diameter means more light comes out. Just like a bigger diameter on a camera means more light goes in. Now this supports uh, table use and it comes with a little leg. And also it has tripod support. There is tripod hole right there with one quarter 20. It's also an additional uh, mount right there so if the combination of the two you should be able to do a ceiling mount on here. We're going to be testing that tripod mount out. So if you look at the unit in the back it has a duplicate of the controls of what comes with the included remote. Uh, the remote itself requires AA batteries. The unit comes with the remote the power for 115 volts plugs in, a HDMI cable, and an audio video cable in case you want to send uh, line level audio and video into this projector. And you can see you've got VGR right there which is uh, an older interface on your computer so if you want to look at what's on your computer use this as a monitor to project you can do that right there. We have auxiliary and this is auxiliary out of the audio. You can put a three and a half millimeter connection on there. We're going to test that. Go to a Bluetooth player or amplifier. And then you have um, uh, video and audio in. And that's where this cable is going to go that I mentioned. And you have two USB ports. And that's so that you could use a USB stick or an Amazon stick or a Fire Stick. And we're going to test that also, see if we can play some movies on there. Then there's the HDMI connection right there. That's the infrared that talks to the remote. This is a cooling fan. And here's where the AC power goes in. There's another cooling fan there. There's actually three cooling fans on this. And then on the side here, this is the plus or minus 15% of the keystone correction. And then this is the focus. So if you look closely, you can see the lens going in and out. That very large lens on there. So that's the basic setup. And also comes with a little cleaning cloth, which is nice. You can keep that nice big lens clean. Now the internal amplifier in here is a forum speaker. It's three watts. And the speaker is just one speaker, like most of these units have. And the speaker is on this side right here. So you can see on the bottom of the unit it has some nice oversized rubber legs and that included little piece you can turn that in and what that allows you to do is set it on a table and adjust the angle of it up and down. It's nice and uh, these have a really short throw so that you don't have to be too far away from the screen and get a really large image. Now for this additional test, I'm going to be using this little mini tripod and taking advantage of that one quarter 20 that's on the bottom of this projector. So we're going to have the unit part on for the first time on that tripod and see the angle of the projector. It's facing up and that's the screen that comes up and you can see it's kind of a trapezoid and it's clear on the top and not clear on the bottom. So what you do is you adjust this knob right here and that's going to make it parallel. So now after adjusting the keystone, now it is a rectangle 
and it's in focus all the way around. You always have to be centered to your screen. So the projector's been running for about 10 minutes. I'm just letting it run and it's pretty quiet. I don't hear much of the fan noise and there's three fans in here. So this one right here, I'm going to show you, I'm going to measure. This is measuring surface temperature, air temperature. So you see it's showing 95.2 degrees. So that's a good sign. What it's doing, it's taking the heat from the LED lamp and it's going through those three fans and it's porting it right here to keep it running cool so that you can get that 60,000 hours of lifespan of the LED bulb. So here I've got a projector on my wall. It's got about a five foot diagonal image and we're gonna use the remote and we're gonna to go to the settings. And you have color temperature, picture mode, aspect ratio. You can go through all these different settings here. And you can go to the next thing. You've got sound mode, auto volume, surround sound is off right now. Bluetooth is on. Sleep timer is off. Picture mode is standard, color temperature, medium, aspect ratio 16 to 9 noise reduction. You can also rotate the front, reduce the display size if you want to. Sleep timer is off. Default language English. OSD is off. You can do software updates on here also. Then we're going to hit the exit button to go back to the main screen. Then also on the screen you can see that you have the Miracast, which we're going to try. You've got the selection of the input, the VGA from your computer, audio video using those cables, and then HDMI. Now, if you notice on the upper right hand corner there, it says no USB device. So we're going to put a USB device and see if it recognizes it. So here I plugged in a USB storage drive that has a family video on there. So it's letting me play that actual USB which is a home video um, so once I hit the play pause button it then went full screen so now I have most of the studio lights off here so you can see how the picture actually looks not bad now we're going to try and put a uh, Bluetooth player and we're going to try it in the wired mode so I'm going to take a standard cable and go to the auxiliary output right there. And I'm going to plug this into the auxiliary, the auxiliary input of the Bluetooth player. And now let's play that video. Now the sound is coming from the Bluetooth player. If you want to improve the sound, you can use any Bluetooth player. So I went to the Bluetooth settings. And there is a setting right there where you could scan the device. And I picked up my Samsung TV, but also picked up the, the Bluetooth player. And my Bluetooth player is beeping and it uh, has no more wires anymore so let's see if it uh... and now i'm playing wirelessly to my bluetooth player so that's nice you can go with a cable or you can go wirelessly to any device you have within 30 feet of the projector very nice So unfortunately it disconnects after a certain amount of time because the Apple recognizes that this is not a Wi-Fi device and it goes back to enabling the Wi-Fi for the other devices in the home and then we lose mirroring. So that's something defective in the software. So here I'm in my movie theater where I have my normal 4K projector. And I'm testing this projector out. I've got an HDMI cable from my Roku 
player right here and it's sending a 1080p signal to the screen and I'm going to show you what it looks like and you can hear the sound coming from the projector not bad And that's a, about a six and a half foot diameter screen. And it looks really good. I'm impressed by the image quality and the lack of flickering. Very nice. I'm gonna do something that I don't normally do. I'm gonna give it two ratings. So, as a projector, the Selvin works excellent for the price point and it produced a beautiful image. But I'm going to give it only two stars for its mirroring capability. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll learn these new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.